Hey everyone, it's Monday, September 25th. Good to see everyone here. This is the uh, Chaos Project Managers meeting. So this is a newish group for us. I think this is our third meeting. So good to see everyone. I know we might have some folks um, trickling in because we just moved the meeting time and day. So <laughs> making sure we keep everybody on their toes a little bit. Um, if you've not added your name to the agenda and you would like to do that, you can. And I will sh share my screen. Okay, so we just met a few days ago, honestly, so we, I think this is going to be a super short meeting. We don't have that much progress, <laughs> um, although we do have things that we can talk about, so it's totally fine if it takes the whole time. Um, the first thing is I wanted to share this doc that Yiga created for us. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> so, Yiga, do you want to talk a little bit about this? I don't want to put you on the spot, but... Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Hi, everyone. Um, so I hope we're doing good. I think um, it was Adeyinka that um, asked for this, you know, for the whole team. And I do think it's a great idea for us to have it so that, you know, new project managers or product managers that come on it can just see straight up what, you know, we need to do. So first off, this is all, this is a lot, but you know, I just broke it down. <laughs> Elizabeth said one page. <laughs> so, yes. um, so the first thing is you to, <laughs> for you to manage a project, obviously, um, you have to understand the project and take some time to study, you know, what the project is about, ask questions if you need to, and, you know, just get your head in the right space, right? So that you understand where the project is going to and what they are trying to achieve. Right, so that's very, very important. And it will help you, you know, break down your task and all of that stuff. Now, the next thing to do is to, you know, create a work breakdown structure. So this, yes, and I was supposed to put a link. I, I will put that link. Um, so this is just basically trying to break down your task into smaller bits that are manageable, right? So that that way, you know, it's like a, what do you call it now? It's it's like putting stuff in a scale of preference, something like that. So what would you like the team to do first? What comes first? After you've understood the task, what is what are the first things that will take you to the next steps to achieving your goal as a team, right? So after you've done that, you know, then you can then prioritize your task, you know, say, oh, this is what I need to do first, this is what I need to do next, so that because you've already created a work breakdown structure that helps you understand uh, what your project deadlines are and you know the mini projects in the project sometimes there are projects that are you know large like that so you know that you have to do this and if you don't do that you're not getting to the next stage of the project so um, the next thing for project managers is that um, you have to set clear objectives because of course as a project manager you'll be managing a lot of people that are working on the set project. So you could be managing the design team, you could also be managing the dev team. It's a lot of people sometimes. Um, so you personally have to have these objectives and set clear deadlines and set the deliverables that you expect these teams to achieve. Why? Because it helps you understand um, what progress what your progress report is like, what is delaying, what is lagging behind, which team you need to reach out to. And for what it's worth, your job as a project manager is not necessarily to, you know, just follow people up, you know, all the time. You also have to care for their well-being. Are they doing okay? Why is this taking, you know, a lot of time and stuff like that? You have to care about them, you know. And then, of course, when they're in the right frame of mind, they'll do their jobs. So yes, I put number five as it can either be the second step or a number five. Well, I prefer it to be the number five because um, before you define roles and responsibilities, you have to also prioritize the task. And then that way, it's easier to say, oh, I have this task to be done. Uh, maybe I should give it to the designer, right? Maybe I should give it to, but it can, it can also be swapped in that way, right? So um, 
depending on the team that you have, um, you define their roles and give them clear responsibilities. Their responsibilities have to be very clear so that they also know what they're working on and what is expected of them. And like I said, you have to keep their well-being in mind. You don't overwork them. And of course, you also do not underuse them. I think, okay, that's the next step. I think I'm rushing. Okay, so for number six, I said allocate tax wisely and balance workload. So here's the thing. Sometimes, of course, this is open source. People are going to be hopping in and hopping out and they have a lot of things that they're doing. And yes, they saw this, you know, really nice, shiny project they would like to contribute their skills to. Um, so the interesting thing to do is, you know, find a place to, you know, put them in where they said they want to contribute, put them in there and let them be able to understand what their job is, what they are, what you, what you really, really want them to do. Right. And then when they're able to do that, then you can move them or ask them, do you want to continue with this? Would you like to take this further? Also, when people, you know, volunteer for a task or say, oh, they want to contribute to this, or maybe you already have your team. Let's say, for example, you already have your team. It's not very good to, you know, be underusing one person or overusing the other because the other person really doesn't know where to contribute because you already have your structure. So as always, you could always ask, oh, would you like to contribute to this? Would you like to contribute to that? What would you like to do? You know, what are your skills, strengths, and all of that stuff? So it helps you to balance your workload and, you know, allocate your task effectively. Now, the next thing is um, tax dependencies. Like I said earlier, there are some tasks that need to be done before the others can be completed. It depends on the kind of projects that you're managing, right? So you have to always consider those things. And that's the reason why you have to have a work breakdown structure and prioritize your tax. So that if you have done that already, you would already know what your tax dependencies are and you would have already, you know, um, put one before the other and know that, okay, I have to achieve this before I go to the next one. Now, um, the other thing is to use tax management tools. This help a lot. I cannot overemphasize this. They help a lot because, you know, for something like Trello or Asana, you can literally just see on the board, you know, what you need to do, what is in progress and what has been done you know, just easy peasy and everybody can just click it or you, the project manager, can click it. So it's very, very easy and it makes work flow effectively. So another thing that I think we're going to be using, I think we're going to be using GitHub project board so that everything is out in the open. So yes, for chaos, we're going to be using GitHub project boards. Um, so um, the next thing is to monitor, adjust and document everything. So yes, um, this might seem like a lot of work, this very one, but I tell you for free that it's very, very important because there's so many things that can be said. And of course, you might not just be contributing to the project management team, you might have other things that you're doing. So you don't want to forget anything that will be important to the project, right? So you always have to keep a detailed record of tasks, of assignments. So the best thing to do is, you know, maybe if we're using GitHub project boards, you create a board or a task almost immediately, right? And very important, you always have to be flexible in your approach because um, as a project manager, you have your users and you have your stakeholders to report to. So for example, in chaos, for example, let's say the stakeholders would be the board, you know, for example, the stakeholders could be um, the people, you know, working on this uh, project. Let's say, for example, is the budget board. What are they trying to achieve? So your job is to manage the project effectively. But guess what? If they say they want this in, to go in another direction, you have to be willing to accommodate them and to accommodate, you know, hear what they have to say. And of course, bring back, sometimes you can also do um, surveys to say, oh, this is what the user needs, right? So you have to always be flexible, balance both and identify and manage risk. Um, so the thing is, because you have created a work breakdown structure, you have your hierarchy, you have everything in order, it's usually easier to identify risk before they happen. 
So you, you should have your plan A, plan B, plan C, you know, until you're comfortable, really. Just so that um, if something happens along the way, you have um, a contingency plan, for example. So if, for example, you have this designer that was already working on this project, it's usually a good idea to have a double, you know, somebody that also knows about that project and can always fill in just in case anything happens. So those are stuff like contingency plans that will help you effectively manage you know risk as they come up and risk could be anything but yes you always have to look out for those things and then um the next thing is effective communication and collaboration so the idea of having a, a using a tax management tool most times is um, aside from managing tax effective effectively it helps the whole team to see where the project is at right so that anybody that opens those boards can see that oh this is what needs to be done this is what has been done and this is what's in progress right and it's just way easier aside from that if you're not using an open um, project management tool but for us yes we're going to be using an open project management tool but yes um you have to always update team members and let them know and keep communication as open as possible and of course, ask for insights because you definitely do not know it all. You know, nobody knows it all and all of that stuff. So yes, ask for insights and yeah. The next thing is to review, learn and seek for feedback. So after project completion, for example, we're done, let's say for, for chaos now, we're done building the badging bots, we're done with, you know, all of that stuff. What we can do as a project management team is to review everything that we have done, you know, analyze everything and take, we can talk to the dev guys, what did we do wrong? What do you think we should do better in the next project management, um, um, you know, cycle of whatever products we're managing for you? What do you think we can do better? What will help us or help you be more efficient at your job? You know, would you like to do meetings? Would you like, would you prefer emails? Would you like to just update on the board? What would you like to do, right? So um, that's very important because you have to encourage your team members to provide feedback, even within yourself as the project management team. What would you like? How would you like to communicate? So it's very, very important. And this seems like number 13 seems like it's not a big deal, but <laughs> most times project management it's, it's usually very tricky because, for example, if you're a project manager that doesn't know how to code, you really do not understand how difficult it is to code. So you're just like, oh, you just need to change the state. That's all you need. But you don't realize that it takes a lot of work. So, yes, um, you have to understand people and pat them on the back. Even if you feel like, you know, what they did was probably very small or insignificant, Trust me, it isn't, right? So always pat your team on the back and, you know, do something really nice. And I can see Elizabeth already said you can nominate someone for a chaotic of the week. So that's very, very good. It will make them really happy because, of course, you're, you're recognizing their contribution, right, and their time. So, yes, it's very, very important. It's something that is encouraged. And number 14 is take the learning and improve on it. So there's no need... Um, there's no need doing 12 if you're not going to do 14, right? Because you always have to review. You need to relearn and unlearn and all of that stuff and put those learnings into your new project. So thank you so much. Thank you, Elizabeth, for the opportunity. Thank you, everyone, for listening. So I don't know if there's any questions. I think this is super straightforward, extremely awesome. I am so grateful that you put this together because we do have um, several people, myself included, who is not an official project manager. Um, you know, this is wonderful, absolutely fantastic. And I don't know if we want to say, um, I, so I have two, two comments. One is, um, I think there are spots along the process where this group here will be super helpful especially here, like helping each other kind of identify any risks or, or manage those, we can bring that to the group. Um, of course, collaboration, if there's anything, you know, that um, we want to use 
this group four. Um, feedback is also great. We can share this part right here and this, taking the learning points and bringing them back to this group for other projects as well. So um, yeah, yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for doing this. Holy cow. Yeah, this is, this is really good. I, I really appreciate your focus on not overloading people and checking in with people. I think that's a really great uh, approach. And this is, this is, yeah, this is so detailed. This is a great doc. Thank you so much. Now, that being said, I know one of, oh, I just see there's some chats in here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this was great. Um, I, I just wanted to see if, let me take a step back. So one of our um, things we wanted to talk about last week that we didn't have time for was setting up a process for folks that have an idea for a project and want to also uh, enlist the help of a project manager. Um, so I, taking this doc, I see that there are some clear things that we will need to know from that person who has that idea for a project. So do we wanna have like a form that we ask them to fill out that maybe has these three things and maybe any deadlines or dates or other things? I mean, would that be reasonable, do you all think? I think that would be great. I think that would be a great idea, it would be a great start. Um, so that we know what they are expecting of us and you know what they are trying to achieve, right? So that we can work from there. So yes. So um so we said goals of the project um scope of the project and objectives maybe any deadlines or um oops close no <laughs> we, don't want, we don't need to know about their clothes other people <laughs> who um would like to participate maybe and um what else should we put on this form? Do you all have other ideas that we should put on here? We can um, I think in in addition to the, the other people would like to participate. I, did, you, did you mean project managers or product managers? No, I just meant that if they're like, so a lot of times we'll bring up ideas in a community meeting and we'll say, hey, whoever wants to be a part of this project, put your name here. So that, that would just okay. be a space for them to okay. also include others. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, so that's what I wanted to add. I was just confirming if that was what you meant. Yeah. Um, so there was something, um, there's an issue. I don't know, maybe I should drop it in the doc um, that Ruth brought up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me drop it. It's on GitHub. I'll just drop the link to the issue here. And I don't know if it's something that the project managers can work on. Um, so cleaning up the Grimola repositories and documentation. She has already explained it to me and I've already started to work on that spreadsheet linked. The spreadsheet she has linked. Um, she linked it there. Yes. So it's basically, um, there's a lot of backlog um and we're trying to clean up you know the repositories so that it's easy for us to know what we're assigning as good first issues and what we need to work on so it's a lot of i think there are 23 different repo repos on that grimoire lab if you search the chaos project so i don't know if it's something that you know any of us the project managers can you know join me and then would work on it together you know when you have the time of course so yes so let's add this I don't as know where added. yeah i'm gonna add this as a specific uh oops grimoire lab document okay. documentation right yes that's sort uh repositories and docs okay let's just put that here uh, 
one box. This is a, a perfect example. I'm so excited. This is a perfect example. <laughs> um, link, and I will link to the issue here. Yes. And then Yiga, you have volunteered to be one of the project managers, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. please. Now, do you think Ruth would be the other, or do we need someone else? Um, I think that maybe she, because she was one that created the issue. I think that she actually needs help with that. So I okay. think we'll put up the technical lead or knowledge lead or something. Um, then need a proper product manager to like to. All we need to do is to you know, I'll I'll, I'll guide the process. You know, we need to pick it out and separate it by what i don't know if you can click on the spreadsheet again please yes we need to you know figure out which ones are bugs which ones are future requests and which ones are questions and so if you see there's there's a difference in the sheets so this sheet you're looking at right now is issues by the community and there's also issues by the agents you know so we're going to have to Yes, exactly. So there are two different sheets. So um, I think I also created another sheet, the last one, which says the usernames of detergents, so that that way it's easy for whoever is working on this with me to know um, the usernames, the GitHub usernames of detergents. That so it's very very easy. So it's just something that you know when you have the time, you just hop in and get it done and stuff like that. And then um, we color coded it by um, so. There's be more certain heart. There's the main repo and you know the difference, the different repositories on that remote. So you just sort it up by that. And that's basically what it is. So that that way everybody can start working on Grimola because I hear there's a lot of backlog, yes, on the project. So yes. So that's just one thing. Thank you. Excellent, excellent work. Um, is there someone else on the call that wants to help? With this effort, this is a pretty big effort. And if not, that's totally fine. We can also ask in the chat channel in Slack. Yeah. Too. Okay, let's just ask in Slack. Um, I will put this here. Okay, let's add, um, oops. Awesome. So then would we, would we, maybe, maybe this could be, if we had a form, maybe this could be like the first one that we use. And like when we get that form response, then that yeah. would kind of like be the trigger that comes to this group and that, you know, we assign and then um, it kind of goes from mm -hmm. there. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so we find a second project manager, then I guess the process for us would be to set up a GitHub project board if it's not been set up already or multiple, <laughs> right? It, or okay, I okay. So I think that, um, so many of the project managers do not know how to use, um, GitHub project board. So, um, maybe we need to schedule a time um to guide people through it or maybe share links and you know put in examples i don't know what we think what does team think yeah i think catherine was going to do a walkthrough for us because i think she uses it quite a bit um but i have not heard i i also heard from um i was talking to someone at github on a different project that we're working on for all in and she also volunteered to have someone from the github um, project board team do a tutorial for us as well if, if Catherine doesn't have time to awesome. so I wanted to check with Catherine first um, just because in case she does have th something prepared I don't want to you know take that away from her <laughs> all that work for nothing um,
because on this other project I'm working on with GitHub, we're, they're wanting to use project boards and I'm like, and none of us on the team know how to use them. So yeah, seems to be a common yeah. issue with the GitHub project boards. I mean, they're great. It's just like, nobody knows what Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then um, I know we had um, in the, in the spreadsheet, our main spreadsheet, I know we talked about um, the accessibility study, yes, auditing. Um, all right. So I already, I don't know if this is the right team to report on that, but I already started a spreadsheet. I don't know if, okay, maybe I should share via email. Or oh, is it possible to share my screen? Is that possible? Of course. Or do, yeah. Is this the right thing? Okay. Okay. Um, just one minute, please. Okay. I'm sorry, it's taking me time. <laughs> oh, you're fine. No, we got plenty of time. We're good. Hi, Bisayo. Hi, Bosaya. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Iga. Hi, everyone. Thank How you. How do I share? We almost, I almost missed the meeting. I did not get to even oh, mind sorry. Thank you, Yiga, for sorry. reminding me. <laughs> it's all right. Please, how do I share my screen on Zoom? It's so weird. I don't know how to do that. Okay, yeah, I've seen it. Right. Thank you. Um, awesome. So I already started working on this. I don't know if everyone can see my screen. Yeah. <laughs> you you created this? <laughs> like um, it was like a template. No, 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 no. This was a template. I've used like a lot of different um, so these are all the sources that I used to create this and add, you know, a lot of things. So the basic thing is there are different levels of accessibility. Um, and you know, there's a poor guideline. I don't know if you can see here, right at the top. But so I'm asking, the reason I'm sharing this is actually, so I know there was somebody else that was supposed to work on this, but I don't know the person's Slack name. Um, so we're supposed to work on this together. But yes, um, I've divided it into uh, perceivable, um, operable and understandable and then robust. So this is like the poor guideline of WCAG um, for accessibility, right? And um, so there's different ways to understand if stuff is accessible. accessible. For example, um, there's the part that talks about animation and how many times you know the screen can blink. Um, where's that part? Oh. So it's a whole lot of stuff actually. Oh From text, I can't kind of sure I can find a lot. Okay, Iga. please. Yes, I don't please. Is it just me? I can't hear. Yeah, I think it's everyone. I don't think we can't oh, hear you anymore. Sorry. Okay, so um, I'll just start from the perceivable. Um, so for time-based media, for example, um, so when you see a an AAA, it means that so A is the basic, um the basic things, like the simplest things that you can do, like the simplest changes you can make to your website to make them accessible, right? So those are the simplest ones. And then AAA are the very difficult ones, like here, for example, column 13, sign language is provided for all pre-recorded audio content. So that's going to be very difficult, you know, unless of course you have somebody at, you know, at ease. So, but AAA is like the higher difficulty of things. So yes, um, so I'm going to, I think that's one of the things I'm going to do or we're going to do is to start with, you know, the AA, the A's, the single A's actually, and then possibly assign them here or, you know, the whole team, the larger team, 
would assign it, you know, to say, oh, maybe the content creator will work on this, the designer will work on this, or the dev team will work on this. Um, this is a column that the examples column is something that I don't know if we're going to have the bandwidth to add that, um, you know, because it's going to take a lot of time to, you know, add the examples. But for each of these, um, there's actually a link for the exact accessibility. Um, let me just open it right there. So yes. There's actually a link here. So this was 1.21. So right here, you can just see that it talks about audio only and video only pre-recorded. And this is, you know, what's this? It's a whole lot of stuff, but I just wanted to say that this has started and we definitely, um, I'm definitely going to be reaching out to Victoria now that I know her chaos, um, slack handle so that we can work on this together and get back to the team so yes um and then the next thing is to give access to this elizabeth how do i do that to change like the ownership of this so that it's for the chaos team um is this in google sheets yes yes I yes, think it can, it's under collaborators. I think if you add chaos as a collaborator, maybe. Okay. Um, I'm using my iPad right now. Okay. Let okay. Do this. okay uh, under share. Do I... under share. Yeah. No, well, I don't know. Yeah. Try yeah. adding chaos. What's the email? Chaos project at Gmail. That one right there. Perfect. Okay, editor. And drop, do the drop down. Okay, editor. Okay. I think, yes, make us an editor. And then once then we can switch, then we can. Okay. Owner, I think. Okay, so I just cool. did that. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So. And then there's a question in chat too from Ariga. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't. Okay. So I can stop sharing my screen now. Thank you, everyone. That's um, amazing work. Oh, no. Yeah. Good grief. Oh, no. Work? This is the work breakdown structure. Oh, sorry, Elizabeth. <laughs> I didn't get what you said. No, I just said that this is absolutely amazing. Oh, my gosh. So, so awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's not a problem. I think this is not a work breakdown structure. Um, I'll, I'll send a link, I'll put a link in the document and I'll let you know on the channel, you know, when that is done. And then if you need any other explanation, of course, I can walk you through that. But this was just um, something in another meeting for accessibility auditing that we needed to do for all of Chaos websites. So yes, that's, you know, what has just started. And I know we talked about it in, you know, the last product managers meeting. So that's why I brought it up here. I don't know if that works. If yeah, that I think that's great. Um, also, I would, I would, um, if you can drop, are you in the WG dash website Slack channel? Cause I would also, let me see if I can copy a link to that. Um, if you're not in there, cause I would also keep them in the loop, um, especially Kevin, because Kevin has kind of been, Kevin Lombard has been the one that owns the website thus far usually. So um, just want to make sure he's in that loop as well. Okay, okay. Uh, let me check. Okay, so what do I do? Drop the link or talk um, about? Um... Yeah, I would drop a link and just say that the um, project is, is starting and, um, yeah. I okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, so this will also be the badging website as well, then, right? Sorry, which? Uh, the badging which website. Oh no, I can't see your screen. Just in case you're watching it or oh, sharing no, it further. Um, so, so we have the chaos website, but then we also have a separate website for the DEI event badging that people will go through. It's oh, not, yeah. 
Oh no, this is just for the chaos website, but we can also use it for the badging website. All we need to do is create an extra sheet to say, okay, this this accessibility study is for chaos, you know, call one sheet access, um, chaos accessibility and then badging accessibility. So there are two different websites. Yeah. Yes. Which the badging website I think is only like two pages. <laughs> so I don't think it will be very hard. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's still it's still a lot actually because you have to still go through all the phases and go through all of them. So yeah, and yeah. assign task. But yeah, it's fine. It takes some time, but it's fine. So also then, I think would you be the one to create? Well, let's see who the let me let me just share my screen again. Um, share screen. So we have down as Busayo is one of the project managers. Um, we don't have another one here. So Busayo would be the one to kind of open the to kind of to open the project board as the project okay. manager. Busayo, how do you feel about okay. that? Sure, no problem. That's fine. Awesome. Okay. We really need to have a another person helping with this. Let's ask in the Slack channel as well. Okay, we did. Yes. Sorry, say that again. I'm asking, is it with the accessibility study? Yeah. Um, because we have Busayo is one of the project managers, but we don't have another. Unless you want to fill that role, Yiga, but it seems like you're doing the work also. So I don't, I mean, that's a lot. Oh, yeah. So the job of the project manager, I could do it, but like it's just, you know, reminding and putting the teams together. So since um, it's basically like the accessibility updates, it's just the case here is since we're not developing anything new, I mean, I'm talking now from the point of being the technical lead or you know the knowledge lead since we're not exactly developing anything new um it's just a case of setting reminders and saying oh how fast this is gone how fast is job gone um are there any blockers do you need anything you know it's just stuff like that right so yeah next so we'll we'll ask in slack if anyone wants to also join this project as a project yeah. manager. so okay Okay. Awesome. Oh, and Busayo, you just put your name here. I see that. So let's add you here. Right? Oh, no, it was down here. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. And then you guys, um, since you have talked to Ruth about this, sorry, jumping back to this project, um, would you consider Ruth both these things or is there someone else who's also helping yeah. her? Oh no, I think she's just the one because she's okay. the one that created the issue on on GitHub. Okay, so, so we don't really have, I'll just put, oops, we don't have a knowledge lead, quote unquote, okay. So we should maybe also put this as in progress, and this one is in progress. Okay. Do we need, I guess maybe we could link to the project board here as well. Would that be helpful? Um, I think yeah, would yeah, that would be better. helpful, very helpful. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. We did a lot today. <laughs> do, we have anybody, do we have anybody that wants to start this form, by the way? Like, I'm happy to if nobody wants to do that. Okay, I'll just do that. Okay. 
So this is, I will strip this out. I don't know how to strike it out, but yeah, we no longer need this. So I'm just gonna actually just put Fusayo is the PM2. Awesome. Okay, anything else? We have six minutes. I don't think we have anything else on our agenda. That was a lot. Um, um, when next are we meeting? Is it going to be on Mondays? <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, that being said, I'm traveling next week, so I won't be here. I'll be on a, an airplane. So <laughs> I, I feel like I'm the, the the difficult person here in this whole thing because so, I'm I think it's schedule. So is there anybody? Okay. <laughs> this is there anybody that wants to facilitate next week in my place any takers i would help you put an agenda together and we do have a doc that helps uh that says how to facilitate a chaos meeting if you are interested in that okay i could try amazing I could try that. I feel like this might be a good meeting to um, to rotate anyway. You know what I mean? Just to give people a chance to kind of have that practice to facilitate meetings. Uh -huh. Not to throw you all in here, but um, it's good practice. And this would be, you know, it's a small group. But like no one cares if you mess up. We don't care. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> so I'll, I'll send you the doc Vega, that we have that uh, just gives you like an overview of how to facilitate a meeting. Okay, thank you so much. Don, do you know if you'll be here next week? I should be. So I, I can press the record button. Um, Perfect. Once we work through an issue that I'm having with that. Awesome. Okay, I can help you with that. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you what you need. No Thanks. worries. Um, okay, cool. Well, thank you, everybody. Special thanks to Yiga for being freaking amazing. Holy cow. Um, we really appreciate you and yeah, great work. Thank you so much. Um, I think that's it. So I'm going to stop recording any, as I should say, any final things from anybody before we end. I think right. I have a question. Sorry. Oh yeah, no, um, go. Okay. So here it says on the update on accessibility, Busaya to open a GitHub projects board. Yeah, I need a little clarification on that. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And that, have you used GitHub project boards before? If not, that's completely fine because I haven't used them either. Yeah, I could, you know, I, I was thinking, um, what's her name again? Catherine would do like a walkthrough, but if she's not available, I could just check it on YouTube and just figure something out. It's completely up to you. If you want to wait, mm -hmm. that's fine. If you want to try, that's also fine. I'll leave it completely up to you. Okay, sure. I'll give it a try to start off that if I have difficulty, I can always like wait for Catherine. But if I do get a hang of it, I'll just reach out to you afterwards on next okay. steps. Awesome. And I think um, you, Yiga can help you break down some of those tasks and figure out, I assume as the technical lead, right, Yiga, or knowledge lead? She yes, would I can. Okay. I think that's how we had envisioned it is that the project manager would also work with the knowledge leads, technical leads to figure out what needs to be done and how to prioritize and everything. Because, uh, you know, obviously, Wasayo doesn't know, she wouldn't know what is entail, what it, it all will entail and the tasks. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Myself and Iga would work on that. Perfect. We awesome. will. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank all right. You. I'm going to. It is, are we all good then? Are we good? Seems like we are. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Perfect. Um, let me stop recording.